Well, hello and welcome to the Gigantium Arena in Olbo in Denmark and day three in the 2014 Men's European Handball Championship. My name's Paul Bray, thanks for joining us for this Group B match between Hungary and Iceland. Well, later today, the much fancied world champion Spain take on Norway in the second match of this group. But coming up shortly, it's Iceland against Hungary. These two teams met at the uh, London Olympic Games the last time. A sensational encounter. Teams coming out already. Iceland led out by their captain, Gudjon Baro Sigurdsson. And now here come the Hungarian team. Led out by the uh, veteran left back, Ferenc Iyes. Supporters here from uh, both teams to lend a hand to their side. Hungary do need it. After a bit of a contretemps on the opening day. So after Sunday's wins for Spain and Iceland, both teams are top of Group B, separated by goal difference, while Hungary and Norway have yet to get off the mark. A win in this match, though, will see Iceland become the first team to book their main round ticket. Defeat for Hungary wouldn't be a terminal in terms of their chances of going through to the main round, but it would leave them with their backs to the wall for their final encounter on Thursday against Norway. So now the Hall announcer will introduce the teams. Starting with Hungary. So the team introduced, and now the coach, Lajos Mokshai, been in charge since 2007. Used to coach Veszprem as well, but uh, stopped that last year to focus on the national team. And now introduction of the Icelandic team. Number one, Jacqueline Kostausa. Number two, Lindy Svendersson. Number three, Tara Christiansson. Number four, Adam Dalmasson. Number six, Eskia Hegmanson. Number seven, Anna Hegmanson. Number eight, Tony Olafsson. Number nine, Gudjon Velo Sigurdsson. Number ten, Zoe Gudjonsson. Number twelve, Aaron Ibbasson. Number thirteen, Olaf Rogudmundsson. Number seventeen, Svera Jakobsson. Number eighteen, Robert Gunnarsson. Number nineteen, Runa Gunnarsson. Number twenty-six, Bjarni Gunnarsson. And number 27, Ronald Jonsson. So that's the uh, Icelandic team. Their coach, Aaron Christiansson, who took over after the Olympic Games in London from uh, Gudmundur Gudmundsson, a former international himself with 85 caps for Iceland. The referees being introduced now from Serbia, Nenad Nikolic and Dusan Stojkovic. And uh, now the uh, table officials. Both teams pretty much evenly matched with ages around 29 and uh, caps 108 to 109 on average and both teams averaging 1 meter 94 on height. Well now the national anthems starting with Hungary.
There's the Hungary now, the uh, Icelandic anthem. Well, I'm not sure if that was deliberate or not, or a PA malfunction, but uh, the crowd showing they were up to the anthem, joining in with the players and lifting the atmosphere quite nicely here in the Gigantium in Olbo. And the teams wheel around to shake hands. Well, for Hungary, crucially, they are here without their emblematic leader, Laszlo Nodge, who's out with a knee injury. They struggled on Sunday without him. Neither Moksai nor Angsin on the right, or Ilyas and Putic on the left were able to pick up the slack despite the best endeavors of playmaker Lecky. Well, much will depend on Roland Mikler, the 28-year-old goalkeeper from Pik 122 caps, couldn't quite get into his element on the Sunday, but hoping maybe to pick up today. For Iceland, they've made one change to their squad since their opening game, replacing left-back Sigurd Manson, who didn't play in that game with Gudmundsson. Left-winger Sigurdsson was their standout player against Norway with nine goals. Halgrimsson got six. And there is their top scorer, Sigurdsson, an incredible record, 1,483 goals for Iceland in 286 appearances for the 34-year-old left winger who plays for top German side, Kiel. So last uh, chance for the two teams, there's Lajos Moksai, in charge since 2007, hasn't quite managed to deliver the medals yet, and Aaron Christiansson, who took over from Gudmundsson after the Olympics. So the referees today, Nenad Nikolic and Dusan Stojkovic from Serbia, refereed at the last two European Championships. Also did the final of the Champions League in 2012, when Kiel beat Atletico Madrid. So Chaza will start in the central role, the playmaker who now applies his trade in France for Paris Saint-Germain. So here we go then with Iceland in the all-white strip throwing off this Group B match in Olbo playing from right to left, Hungary in the all-red strip. A win here for Iceland in this match will book their ticket in the main round for Hungary. Well, they need the win to ease the pressure after their opening day defeat against uh, Spain, the world champions. And it doesn't get off to an awesome issue start, unfortunately, with Halgrimsson getting on the scoreboard inside 30 seconds. Nice goal by the 29-year-old who plays for Paris Saint-Germain. He and Gunnarsson are in Paris. Where of course, they are teammates with one of their opponents today, Gabor Chaza, the playmaker. He's uh, interestingly moved himself into the right back position, number seven. Gabor Angshin, the right back, going in the center. Quick switch back now. Need a good start. Deep defense by Iceland, forcing a long range shot, but nicely taken. Scored by Gabor Angshin. 23 year old, one of six players from uh, Kitschegged. Runners-up in the uh, 
Hungarian league. One of the big complaints for Lajos Mokshai with his team is that the Hungarian team used to be drawn pretty much from homegrown players from Veszprem and Pik Zeged. Now so many of his players are playing for clubs abroad that he says they have less time together. And ironically, those players who were first choice picks for Vesprem or Pizzegger, they're now second choice picks in other European clubs and they're getting less handball and are less available to train with their home national team. Nevertheless, plenty of talent on show here for the Hungarians. Ies looking for options, he has to come back out again. They're almost individually marking Chaza at the moment, but waiting to make the change. Looks like Gudjonsson comes off, and in goes the defence specialist Sverir Jakobsen, a formidable Icelandic defence that sees uh, Svavarsson and Jakobsen playing together in the centre. The good news for Iceland, though, is that uh, Aaron Palmarsson, who had a lot of treatment on his left ankle in the opening game and uh, ended up only playing 12 minutes, seems to be fit and is on court here today. Chazar tries to go through, gets a free throw. Clearly infringed as he went through. Chaza, one of those players who's not getting as much court time as he'd like in Paris. Of course, he's up against Narcisse for that position. Always going to be difficult to get court time. Seven matches only this season, 16 goals in France. The free throw again as Chaza drives in. Oh, he's uh, familiar to some of the Danish fans here. Chaza, the number seven for Hungary, because he used to play for Vibor. Long range shot again, good shot, Gabor Angsin. 23 years of age, he beats Gustafsson. Palmarsson under pressure, he's got a free throw. It was a comfortable save for Mikler in the uh, goal. Palmarsson well covered by the captain Ferenc Ies. Little handoff, Palmarsson again, Iyash is straight on to him. Once more, it's going to be a free throw, and this time Iyash gets a yellow card for a bit of a push in the back after he got beaten. Shrew closed the door behind, but uh, had a collision with the back player. Catching him in the knee, I think. Now the ones uh, come off too badly as uh, Christiansen looks deep in thought on the bench. Dusan Stojkovic uh, makes a note of Iesha's name for his book. We've met uh, the last four occasions. Iceland have won three times, but tellingly, in the last encounter in London at the Olympics, Hungar Hungary sensationally won in the quarterfinals. It went ten seconds from the end, and Iceland leading by one goal. They were awarded a penalty. They would have finished the game. But Fasica saved, and Hungary scored. The last gap or equaliser, rather before going on to win in extra time. Leaving Iceland absolutely stunned, not least uh, Snorri Gudjonsson, who missed that penalty. Fast break, it's going to be two quick goals. Gudjon Valor Sigurdsson. Straight off the back of the goal by uh, Aaron Palmarsson, as I was talking through that Olympic uh, quarter-final between these two teams, which, uh, to my mind, was the best match of the competition. An incredible encounter between the teams. 34-33. Ironically, both the main players for Hungary that day, the goalkeeper Fazekas and Hashanyi, who scored the goal, not in the squad today. But more tellingly so for the uh, Hungarians, of course, is the absence of Laszlo Nodz. Big disappointment, a knee injury, which has nearly recovered but not quite. And that's another one for Hungary. Cornel Nodz, no relation to Laszlo. 27-year-old who plays for Dunkirk, but they're coming thick and fast as Palmarsson, from a quick throw-off, shoots straight down the other end and scores, and it's 4-3 inside five minutes. Oh, it's just smuggled in. Gustafsson slow to get his hands to it. Instead of putting the arm out, Angshin scoring his third goal already. 4-4. Four, four. Deep defence, but Palmarsson now drops back in again. They're pushing up a little bit on uh, Iyash on the far side, but otherwise, technically a 6-0 defence by the Icelanders. 
Zuboy seems to have been favoured uh, in the attack on the line. The Kijzeged line play, only 86 kilos though, not uh, particularly heavy, and the fans cheer again. Gabor Chaza. Well, the fans getting in good voice. Six minutes played, slender lead for the Hungarians. Pushing right up, blind players come forward, save, the comfortable save as well. Breakout now for Hungary. No problem there. Ivancic. 32-year-old uh, Veszprem winger. The most uh, experienced player with 231 internationals to his name. Makes it 6-4. Not a good Jonsson tries to cut back inside. And a uh, little warning to both players. Uh, it's, uh, to Gunnarsson as well as the defenders. Zuboy is a line player himself. Uh, some holding going on on the line. Oh, double dribbled it fumbled and then tried to pick it back up again Palmarsson and uh, the ball goes to Hungary and a good start by the Hungarians here much more focused ah, the defense absolutely nowhere and Zuboy found himself in acres of space 29 year old point blank Boy, who scored 253 times in 160 appearances for Hungary. Second line play has gone in now for Iceland. Completely covered though, uh, Gunnarsson can do nothing. Let's have a look again as Palmarsson tries to find him. Zuboy just bundles him over the line. Zuboy's picked up a yellow card in the process. And, uh, Substitution about to happen as uh, Christiansson thinks about his options and once more Iceland lose possession. It's an untidy start by the team who uh, took bronze at the 2010 European Championships in Austria. Trailing here 4 7. Eight and a half minutes in. And they've switched now to a 5 1 defense. They're trying to push Chazar a long way out. He may want to go back a little bit further to allow some space in behind. Oh, and a fumble. Ivancic coming around from the wing. Oh, what a pass and what a save. Mikler and good Jon Valo Sigurdsson can't quite believe it. But talk about a class pass down the line. Chazar's got himself a two minute suspension. Trying to work out why. Let's have a quick look and see. There's the uh, tap. And it's resulted in a free throw for Iceland. Seemed relatively innocuous. He wasn't in the air trying to shoot at the time, but uh, that's the way the uh, Serb referees have seen it. And so Hungary will be short handed for the next two minutes. Well, other than the uh, win at the Olympic Games in uh, London, you have to go all the way back to uh, Euro 2006 for the last time that Hungary beat Iceland in a uh, formal match. They have won a friendly since then, but... Uh, there's a reaction of one of the uh, Hungarian fans and a very untidy pass by Palmarsson, who just doesn't look quite uh, himself at the moment. Too many steps. He's got the free throw, though. He was under pressure. Ivancic. Comes from a long line of uh, handball players, Gergo Ivancic. His brother Tamas was with him in the national team for quite a long time. Hugely experienced. Gergo, four world championships, and this is his fourth European championship. Lecky is on and scores straight away. Number 66, beautifully done. Man of the match two days ago, quite deservedly so. He really energized the team as much as he could. And Matej Lecky 
25 year old who plays for Celia in Slovenia. Gets himself straight onto the score sheet. 8 4, 10 minutes in. Palmarson. That's more like it. Oh, Niklea comfortably beaten, given too much space. Problem back. Ah, straight through. Peter Guiush. One of three Vesprem players in the team. The Hungarian champions. Drive straight in behind this defense. Sigurdsson opened up a huge angle. Second goal for him. Meanwhile, Hungary back to full strength again. Change the goalkeeper then for Iceland and uh, Gustafsson. He's uh, struggled early on here. No saves from nine shots. Being replaced as we see uh, treatment being received by uh, Thori Olafsson, the right winger. A bit of a problem for Iceland because technically he's their only left handed recognized right winger. Good, sensible, steady build-up. It's going to be a free throw for uh, Hungary. Both recognised uh, by Bjarki Gunnarsson. Well, so at the moment, all going well for Mokshai. But uh, Christian Sondo, for his part, has much uh, thinking to do still. Chaza, that was uh, held. Zuboy trying to get to the ball, but uh, quite visibly blocked unfairly. Chaza. Oh, beautiful. Well, Angstrin is on fire today. That's his fourth goal. Chaza goes in, flattens the defense, taking Jakobsen with him. And Angshin follows in behind for his fourth goal, 10-6. The Icelandic fans trying to lift their team here. Palmarsson. Good defence at the front by Su. But they've broken through as he pushed deep. So Iceland found the space at the back through Robert Gunnarsson. Three-year-old who plays for Paris Saint-Germain gets them back to within three. So with the injury uh, to Thorir Olafsson, their only recognized right winger for the moment, at least Runar Karasson, a right back, is moving into the wing, and that's a two-minute suspension. And it's uh, Jakobsen. He got three of them uh, in the opening match against Norway. There's the foul again. A bit too much of the knee. So he was red carded. But of course in handball that uh, doesn't bar you from the next match when you get uh, three two-minute suspensions. But it meant that uh, Iceland were without him for the last 13 minutes of the game. Oh, looking for the wing, but instead he ran into the defender. Sigurdsson sent flying and it's an attacking foul. Should have taken the shot. But he got himself in a little bit too close. And uh, spun around. So Iesh coming back in now only for defensive duties. Hang Shin just attacking. And while they're short-handed, as they did in their opening match, Snorri Gudjonsson comes on with the goalkeeper's bib. Means you have parity in the attack, but you've got an empty goal at the back. A bit of a gamble. He goes off now. Oh, the ball's stolen. Is he back in goal yet? The goalkeeper, only just, but he makes a great save, but it's a penalty. 
has to be pushed in the back. And in the process, Zuboy, it wasn't his fault, shot into the face of Edvarsson. Let's have a look again. Well, it's Karasson. 55 year old right back from uh, Hanover in Germany, who's off. Chaza. Oh, it's saved! Aaron Edvarsson. Goalkeeper from Gif in Sweden. Picked ahead of Gudmundsson, and he shows why. Two metres and two, those long arms and legs, and he reaches out. He saved the fast break, now he saves the penalty. But for Iceland, the problems are mounting now because uh, they've got two players suspended. No one getting in behind at the moment. Hungary pushing up. Free throw. They've got to try and get as many free throws as they can and run the clock down. The problem is the referees, sooner or later, will give passive play. Palmarsson pushing into the wing. Another free throw. Ten more seconds or so before they get at least one of the two players back. Palmarsson tries to go around the outside, shoots long. Because he shot, he was uh, fully expecting to get the free throw. That wastes a bit more time by shooting. And they have got one player back. Five against six on the attack. Tries, oh! From all of 11 meters out, Palmarsson chances it and beats Miklair, who's disconsolate in goal. No surprise there. Look at this, standing shot, 104 kilometers an hour. So, past the midway point in the first half, and from four goals down. A 4-2 spell. Has seen Iceland come back to just two behind now, although they are still short-handed for the next 20 seconds or so. So, Cornel Nodge moved from the central position into the left-back position. Chazai in the centre and Angchin only being used in attack at the moment. Well, the Icelandic fans trying to encourage their team and it seems to work. The ball stolen by Jakobsen after a poor pass and it will allow Iceland to run the clock down and get back to full strength. Well, they've done well despite a double suspension. Hungary have been unable to capitalise. So into the uh, fray comes Arno Ratlason, one of their most experienced players for Iceland. 141 internationals, 341 goals, the number seven. Under pressure there. First action for Atlason. Plays for Saint Raphael in France. Played in Denmark for a while for AG Copenhagen. Into the line, fouled surely, and that's going to be a two minute suspension for Schu. Well, there's uh, six of one, half dozen of the other, because when you look at the replay, Gunnarsson is holding his shirt as well and pulling him down. But it's true who pays the price. And so now it's Hungary who'll be short-handed as the 28-year-old uh, from Veszprem goes off. Atlason into the wing, that's good, big angle as well. Oh, good save by Miklair. Showing all the experience of his 122 internationals. Gets his leg right up to shoulder height to block it. Still though the ball with Iceland. And again, a good save by him. This time it is picked up by his teammates. Hal Grimson, no way through. Well, uh, Miklair making his fifth save from 13 shots. 38% save rate for him. You get the feeling that the uh, Hungarian fans are slightly outnumbered, but they're doing their best to make as much noise as possible to support their team now. Angshin drops back again. Putic has been brought into the attack, the number 11. That's an attacking foul. Iceland have possession. 
Hungary need to watch behind them because they're past masters at the fast break, the Icelanders. Before you know it, you'll realize there's a winger behind you already. And just when they wanted a nice long attack, Hungary, while well, they were short-handed, they give away possession. Into the wing, Gudjon Balor Sigurdsson, and again saved by Mikler. Save number six. Now, when you're down there shooting, I can tell you the goal looks mighty small. It's no easy task, but uh, great save by the 28 year old keeper. An important match for both teams. Hungary to uh, keep alive their hopes of a main round group and Iceland because they could book their place already today if they win. Chaza looks for the line, there's absolutely no one there. Ang Shin goes for the long range effort, but it's a poor one, it goes straight over the top. And quickly, Edvarsson puts the ball out. Atlasson, it's not a good Jonsson, but there's no space in the wing and the ball will come out. So the usual substitution. Gunnarsson, number 18, the line player, only used in attack. to go around that came off a defender but touched by Mick Clare before it went out keeps it as a keeper's throw and possession lost straight away and there's the break good John Valo Sigurdsson and no mistake this time goal number three for the Icelandic captain lovely pass down the court from Atlas on Sigurdsson, who scored 50 goals in the German Bundesliga this season. Playing for Kiel, top of the league. So 20 minutes played in the game. Hungary leading 10-9, but they've thrown away a four-goal lead and control of the game. Oh, and a mistake by Edvarsson of Chaza. Bit of a speculative uh, long-range no, shot. Lecky waiting to come back on. Usual substitutions for Hungary as uh, Shu and Iesh go back in in defence, taking over from Guyus and Angshin. Kalmarsson. The space. Oh, beautiful. A lot of spin on that ball. Look at the handwork on that. Well, you wouldn't know that uh, he's not a winger, Karasson. He's a right back. But a quick response from Angshin. Goal number five for him from five attempts. They've got to cut that middle uh, position. No one's moving up. He's getting that extra run and a bit of pace. Christianson, the Icelandic coach who played uh, 85 times for his country. Before going into coaching, he's coached clubs in Denmark and Germany. Oh, and a deflection. Palmarsson uh, gets the credit. You don't get own goals in handball, but it actually came off a defender and a team timeout called by Lajos Mokshai. Well, they started very well, Hungary, much better organized, more than anything else. Their defense has really been solid and in attack, nice creations. But unfortunately, they've allowed the Icelanders to uh, get some pace going. The uh, Icelanders are defending better as the game goes on, but in attack, they're varying the pace, pushing the ball quickly into the wing and causing uh, problems now for the Hungarians. Still, the uh, Hungary are just edging it to 12 11. Well, the uh, Icelanders, of course, keen to uh, avenge that uh, shock defeat at the quarterfinals 
when there was so much in control in that game and uh, it was a stunning finish. So Palmas on five goals, their top scorer so far in the game. Matched at the moment by Hungary is Gabor Angcin. Palmarsson, who plays alongside his uh, national team captain uh, Sigurdsson at Kiel. In fact, uh, doing very well there, thank you very much indeed. So, play resumes, one goal lead, still Hungary on the attack. Chazar moving into the right back position, Putic is on still. Ah, nicely done. Guiyush. Right winger coming out. It's almost a bit of a bold effort, but uh, it worked. They're going to try a different combination now. The Icelanders on the right wing. Clearly, Olafsson still not fit as Halgrimsson tries his luck on the wing. But he has played there before, though, for the uh, Icelandic team. He comes around now as an extra line player, flattens the defence. And uh, too much room, beautifully done. Runar Karasson with his second, 25-year-old, playing in his first major competition for Iceland, leaves Miklaer flat-footed. Oh, they like that. Seven minutes less, in fact, remaining now in the first half. And this... Uh, Second round of matches now in Group B. Oh, stunning. Mixed reaction, some of the uh, Icelandic fans. Looking a bit dejected after Barna Putic gets his first of the game. Moksai anxious, but he always does look anxious, pacing up and down. Two goals in it for Hungary. Once more, Haldrimsson comes in on the line. Oh, look to pass to the wing, but that's a two-minute suspension. The foul on Atlason. So it's Putic who goes off this time. And that's going to break the uh, momentum now for the Hungarians. So we're just thinking, well, let's have a quick look. Well, we can't see it from this angle here. I can only think he gave him a bit of a push in the air after he took off. Yes, push on the shoulder. Penalty comfortably converted by uh, Sigurdsson. Scored two. On uh, their opening game. Just a one goal gap. Now Iceland uh, qualified for the European Championships, uh, top of Group 6, ahead of Belarus, Slovenia, and Romania. Just one defeat away to Belarus, who qualified with them in the end. Hungary, for their part, was second in Group uh, 4 behind Croatia. But finished ahead of Slovakia and Latvia top two teams in those qualifying groups going through. We still have just over a minute to go on that suspension. Lecky has come on, working alongside Angshin. Lecky! Just saw the gap. Former Pete Zeged player who missed the, the last European Championships through a knee injury. Stores a two-goal lead, and we have four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Hungary scoring while short-handed. Palmarsson now goes back into the left-back position while Atlasson takes over in the centre. Atlasson waits on the line. A lot of space on the wing. Oh! Tried to lob him. Puts it wide. Niklaer will take his time with the throw-out while they're short-handed. Karasson flighted it enormously. He tried to spin it, in fact, and it ended up... Uh, leaving his hand all wrong. Christiansson looks on anxiously. Chaza. No luck this time for uh, Guiyus and uh, Iceland break out. Hungary now back to full strength again as uh, Shu comes streaming on the defence specialist. Did that come off a foot? Well, it's not given by the referees and in the end, 
Guyish gets it at the second attempt. Wisely, he doesn't try the cross-court pass. That would have uh, not resulted in a great deal. That's a brilliant save by Edvarsson. Second save by Edvarsson off the shot by Timushin Shu. Who is a, a line player by trade, though predominantly used as a defender these days by Hungary. Atlason. A little shot there by uh, Cornel Nodge. French based player. Gives another free throw. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Been very closely balanced. That's unlucky. Could have stolen it, but uh, no Hungarian players near the loose ball. Atlason comes off a defender for a throw in from the corner. Ies blocking it. 32 year old captain. And the team timeout called by Iceland. So Karasson, two goals so far for the 25-year-old who plays for Hanover in Germany. Playing as a substitute uh, right winger as well. So Iceland still with a, a bit of an injury problem. Torir Olafsson, 34-year-old uh, right winger from Viva Kielce in Poland, is uh, clearly injured and not coming on at the moment as we see a quick uh, turnover chart there. Six hungry. Five Iceland. And, uh, it makes you wonder whether they need to delve into their uh, squad list. They've made one change already. You're allowed three. They've got uh, Steinthorsson and Olafsson. Gudmundur Olafsson, I should say, since uh, the other wing is also Olafsson. The other right wingers on their squad, but both are novices who uh, haven't played for Iceland in major competition. In fact, have only a couple of internationals to their name in uh, friendlies. There's Angshin, very economical, the number 33, with five goals and five attempts, just 23 years of age. What a find he is, having to fill the uh, rather large boots of Laszlo Notch. So straight from the off, Iceland lose possession. Oof, that was high. Got away with it though. Bjarki Gunnarsson, 25 year old newcomer to the Icelandic team, just three caps. And, uh, seemed to catch Lecky very hard and very high. Mopping up the floor quickly here. Hungary who uh, arrived here with uh, not a particularly good warm-up tournament on home soil, the Provident Cup, where they uh, they lost to the Czech Republic and Poland, just managed to beat Belarus, finished third on home soil. As they struggle to come to terms with the absence of Laszlo Nodz, but the fans are happy with that one. With two minutes to go, Putic gets his second. And it's a three-goal lead now into the line, couldn't hold it. Attacking foul. Lecky running into the defenders. What a shame. Oh, Nikolic, impassive. Oh, the two defenders had closed the door and were standing their ground. And uh, Mati Lecky did run straight in. Iceland, for their part in their build up tournament, uh, went to Germany beat Russia and Austria in a Four Nations tournament, but lost to the Germans quite heavily, in fact. 32-24 Germany, who are not here, didn't qualify. Halgrimsson gets his second. That all helps. Halgrimsson playing from the right wing, goes in on the line, and Lecky's picked himself up. A two-minute suspension in the process. I think it was a shove on... Uh, let's have a look. There it is in the back. As uh, Algrinson took the shot, and uh, so uh, Hungary will uh, finish the first half short handed. We start the second one man down as well. Chazar is back on with Lecky on the bench. Inside the last minute. Hungary will look for a long attack here and try and shoot as late as possible. 
winger trying to make his way in Batgarti. Not being given any space, he heads back out into the wing, Batgarti. 40 seconds. Into the wing. Steps inside the area. And Iceland have pressured them into a mistake. Stream back now. Oh, lots of space on the wing. And they pulled another one back. And it's him again. Halgrimsson with his third. 20 seconds to go. Oh, 16-13's become 16-15 now. Eight seconds. Iceland is trying to push them out as far as possible, so it has to be a long-range speculative shot. One second. Didn't even get the shot in. Good defending by Iceland, and there goes the half-time buzzer. And good young Valor Sigurdsson and his man have managed to uh, stem the tide somewhat and pull it back to within one goal after having been far, four down rather at one stage in the first half. But in the end, at the break, it's 16-15 to Hungary. Well, uh, Niklaer, seven saves in the first half. But uh, the Hungarians will rue the fact that uh, twice they've managed to open up good leads and twice they've allowed the Icelanders to come back at them. But it's a match that's really finally poised at the moment between these two teams. Miklaer choosing not to go to the changing rooms. He's going to stay on the bench and try and uh, stay in his own thoughts. Now, for the moment, the Hungarian fans are happy, but there's a long way to go. This match can go either way. Well, let's have a look at the stats then. Very close uh, match on the attacks. 57% Hungary, 54% on their success. But look at the field throws. Hungary are scoring from 80% of their shots compared to Iceland's 58%. Eight turnovers for Hungary, though. Six for Iceland. There have been a lot of mistakes here. And four suspensions for Hungary. And they have proved costly for them. Just a couple of fast breaks scored by each team. So top scoring then, Aron Palmarsson for Iceland and Gabor Angsin for Hungary with five goals apiece. Sigurdsson right behind Palmarsson with four, while a host of other Hungarian players are sitting on two goals. This is the progression, and you can see how, uh, although Hungary are leading, that uh, purple patch there when they stopped scoring in the middle spell allowed the Icelanders to get back in again. No goals for six minutes. Not high scoring by Iceland, but it was enough to steady them and get them back in. This is where the shots are coming from for Hungary. It's all down the middle, the right back center, and then two fast breaks. And of course on the, uh, on the line. Let's have a look at the same chart then for Iceland and a much better spread. You can see goals coming in from uh, all angles, plus a penalty and uh, two fast breaks. That's the way it looks then for Iceland. So half time then, it's 16-15 to Hungary. We'll take a short break. Join us again in just a few moments.
So welcome back to the Gigantium in Olbo here in this uh, second round of matches in Group B at Euro 2014. And at halftime, a much improved Hungarian team are leading Iceland 16-15. That's their last encounter, an absolute classic at the London Olympics, and we're hoping it'll be the same here today. Iceland started off well enough, but uh, Hungary then got into gear, went 8-4 in front, then got pegged back. And then went 16-13 in front, but once more got pegged back. They're going to start the second half short-handed. With the suspension being uh, given late. Footage, but uh, excellent shooting averages for the uh, Hungarians in the first half. 76% success rate, 16 goals from just 21 shots, which is brilliant. And the Icelanders uh, not slouching uh, themselves either. 15 from 25 for a 60% success rate. But uh, the problems for Iceland are that they only have one recognized uh, left-handed right winger, Tori Rolafsson of Vive Kielce in Poland. And uh, he's had to come off after just 14 minutes to receive treatment on his uh, ankle and uh, he's been replaced although i have to say fairly successfully by uh, karason for a while and then hal grimson both uh, right back players going in on the right wing iceland whose best uh, european championship finish was uh, bronze in 2010 hoping they could go further here but uh, went a little bit backwards at the uh, World Championships last year in Spain, where they finished 12th. Hungary finishing ahead of them in eighth place. So Miklair, with seven saves in the first half. Getting ready to get the second half underway. One final huddle then for the Icelanders. Snorri Gudjonsson prepares to take the court with his captain, uh, Gudjon Barur Sigurdsson. with four so far, Chazar the playmaker heads in, two goals. Expected performance in the first game where he just got 12 minutes of play time and it looks like Hungary going to put on uh, Tamás Moksoy, who's actually the son of the coach Lajos Moksoy for the first time in this match. 35 year old who plays in Germany for Hanover. Uh, actually teammates as it happens with one of his opponents today, Runar Karasson, plays there with him in Germany. So here we go then, Hungary throw off the second half, leading 16-15, but short-handed for another minute or so. Well, less in fact, 35 seconds they will get back to full strength again. But Kerti has started on the wing. He goes in on the line for the moment. Putic looking for some options. Nothing there as Chaza loiters. Putic, not enough angle there. Surely for the wing, shouldn't have shot. But uh, left with no choice. And Edvarsson just stood his ground and uh, parried it without difficulty. So Iceland steadied themselves down a little. Bit of a deflection there and uh, tipped over. Niklaer tried to get a hand to it, but couldn't. And so uh, Hungary back to full strength again as uh, Schult runs back in. Oh, Palmarsson, well, he scored one of those earlier. So uh, you can't feel too bad for him trying, but. Uh, he was at least 10 metres out last time when he blasted it in. But this time off target. So Zuboy tries to find his place on the line. Playing his fourth European Championship, the Hungarian line player. Gabor Chaza looking for the line. Oh, how did he hold that? Brilliantly played by uh, Sabolt Zuboy. Second game, so you'll lead back again. Snorri Gudjonsson. Need to get back in uh, place again as uh, Gudjonsson goes into the central role. Gudjon 
Son, who uh, has hugely experienced 214 internationals. Free throw. Down on the uh, line player, Robert Gunnarsson. Shinshu holding his own against him. 106 kilos, the Hungarian defender. Manages to stop him turning again, so as not to concede the penalty. And this time it's uh, Mokshai with a bit of help from uh, Guyush who deny him. Oh, brilliant. What a superb sidearm shot. Balmarson, sixth goal of the game. Goalkeeper would have seen that come at the very last second. Nothing that Miklair could do about that one. So the 6 0 defense, they varied sometimes, playing 5 1, but uh, back at 6 0. But it's a pretty solid one with Slavarsson and Jakobsen holding up the center. In fact, Jarki Gunnarsson's gone there. That's a bounce shot. Awkward, but comes off the goalpost. Oof. Luckily, Gudjonsson picks it up. Number 10 for Iceland. He plays his club handball in Denmark for Gilge. Not the only one, because uh, number three. He hasn't been on yet, the line player, Christiansen, plays for Bjerringbo. Attacking foul. Gunnarsson at fault and uh, Hungary come back again. Putic, attacking foul this time. The Icelanders close the gap very quickly and he charges into them. Well, I think that's a bit unnecessary. He vents his frustration. Okay, he stamped up and down. He wasn't saying anything to the referees, and uh, Shu gets his second two minute suspension. Well, I, if that's. Uh, there was nothing there that he'd done wrong, so it's just for stamping his feet and. Uh, the Serbian referees mean maybe being a little bit too uh, too strict. Free throw. Gunnarsson not quite controlling the ball as he turned inside the defender. Zuboy finally there to block him. Hello. Hungarians have had five two-minute suspensions now to Iceland's two. And uh, uh, I think Timoshin Shu very unlucky. So because it did look like they'd stolen the ball quite fairly. They reached out, took it ahead of him. He wasn't on the ball yet. They didn't pull it out of his hand. Certainly no cause for a sending off. Well, with the uh, sparse defence, Runar Karason finds a way through for his third goal. And Iceland are level. A couple of goals and without reply. Mokshai brought to a hold till get a free throw. He's got Lecky to his uh, left at the moment. Down the middle. Getting a bit wasteful with their shooting. Got to be careful. Four minutes since they last scored now, Hungary. No line player there, but uh, a foul on uh, Halgrimsson in the first place gives a free throw to Iceland. Well, uh, Mokshoi giving an opinion to the uh, players who listened to him on the bench. Too many steps anyway. Well, I think he ran into the defender, say the referees, but that was a good save, nevertheless, by Miklaer. And Badkerti, the winger, standing his ground as uh, Karason, all uh, 1 meter 96 of him, barges into him. Zuboy goes flying as well, but uh, 
He looks happier to take the blow than uh, <laughs> Bad Gerti. So back to full strength again, the Hungarians. And this slightly uh, more open defence they had while they had the extra man. Goes flat again. Putic. Not showing another great save by Edvarsson. Al Grimson into the wing. Hungarians trying to get organised quickly. There's Lecky, stays close to Hal Grimson. Into the line. And they've taken the lead. The fans are on their feet. Hal Grimson feeds the ball into Bjarki Gunnarsson for his first goal. Three goals without replying. It's six minutes since uh, Hungary scored. They don't want to do this again. That's exactly what happened the other day. They went through a purple patch when they didn't score, and it cost them. And that's gone wide as well, Lecky. They're trying to take the easy options of shooting from a long way out. Putic complains he was being held. But the enterprise that was there early, when they were driving in and helping each other to flatten the defence and get good shots in, now the shots are becoming a little bit more speculative. While in goal, Edvarsson has now made eight saves from 16 shots. Well, Hungary always do have this very slight uh, psychological vulnerability as uh, they get hit again. Snorri Gudjonsson. Lecky, Chaza need to settle down. They've got the runners on now. Lecky and Chaza both playmakers. And Moksai on the far side. Free throw. Good defending by Palmarsson. And uh, for Hungary, Peter Tatai, 30 year old teammate of Miklaus at Pete Dreged, has gone in. Shot of the game for uh, Tamas Mokshai. He plays for Hanover in Germany, but uh, he's actually leaving after the uh, World Championships. Feeling a bit unsettled, he's going to return to uh, Veszprem. He's going to help cover for the uh, injury of uh, Laszlo Notch until he's fully fit again. So it seemed to work out for uh, all concerned. Chaza. Oh, whistle's already gone, it won't count. What a shame. It was a nice little side foot by the uh, playmaker from Paris Saint-Germain. And uh, so the uh, scoring drought continues for Iceland. That came off a defender this time. Credit taken by Sveri Jakobsen, 36-year-old in place for Gross Wallstadt in Germany. That's not a single one of the Icelandic team plays as club handball in Iceland. Moksai, a oh, very poor shot. The shooting's just dropping down terribly now. From a 75% success rate on their shooting, Hungary now down to 59. They've just been overtaken by Iceland on 61%. And uh, the Icelandic fans are uh, beginning to feel the vibes. Confirmation of that shot efficiency that's heading south, I'm afraid, for the Hungarians very fast. Eight minutes now since Hungary last scored. They've conceded four goals, make that five without reply. And it's Aaron Palmarsson with his seventh. Finally, Chaza gets them going again. No shot. Nicely taken. Good strong arm on that to beat Edvarsson. Finally. Here 
It was a uh, costly eight-minute spell, I'm afraid. So Edvarsson, great performance by the uh, goalkeeper. 50% save rate. Miklair now going the other way. Seven saves from 26 shots, a 27% save rate. So past the 10-minute mark in the second half, and Iceland have turned the tables on the Hungarians now and are controlling the pace of the game nicely. And that didn't come through. The break is on. Lecky. Third goal for him. Playmaker going down very quickly. The throw off taken immediately by Iceland. Got us on. Whistle's gone. That won't count. Stojkovic points to the spot. And the ball has to be brought back. So Iceland looking to book their ticket in the main round if they can win. Oh, shot straight down the middle. That's inside the area. It's a Hungarian ball. The ball comes out quickly from Tatai. Yes, took too long. Oh. Iceland almost unnecessary threw the ball out. Sigurdsson annoyed with himself because I think he realized that uh, he could have made a better job of it, but frankly, he was under a lot of pressure trying to stop the ball going into the wing. Did well not to just hand it straight back to a Hungarian. The Hungarians three goals in the second half to five, so they're beginning to get going again here. Lecky. Uh, it's a poor pass, Zuboy uh, fought, but uh, it's intercepted straight away. Zuboy is still down. Great save, and now finally the referees stop play, but uh, Edvardson, much in evidence again. And Ivancic, what was he thinking? Leg up, put it underneath. But Zuboy is still down. Worrying moment for them. We've got uh, let's have a look again. Oh, clash of heads. Catches uh, Halgrimson. Halgrimson seems to come off the better of the two. But Zuboy is a tough nut. Two other line players if they need them. Solushi, much less experienced than uh, Zuboy. And then, of course, Shu, who's been used as a specialist defender for the time being. But Zuboy seems fine. He'll carry on. So 12 minutes in. Iceland leading by just the one goal here in Group B in uh, Olbo. Go through. That's going to be another free throw. The foul initially on Arnaud Ratlas on the 29-year-old. Uh, it's a Saint Raphael in France, number seven on the far side. In his third European Championship. Ah, oh, brilliant! Atlas on gets his first, and Tatai annoyed with himself, touched it. That wasn't enough. Oh, Lecky. His ankle just seemed to give way as he tried to go for the gap. Oh, and another speculative shot by Chaza. Shuboy wanted it. He was right on the outside. If you put it wide, he could have tried to make something of it. Oh, that's brilliant play. Oh, unlucky, but it's defending inside the area. And a penalty for Chaza. Dummies one way, goes around one defender, but uh, Karasson just jumps in the area. So Chazar steps up to take it himself. Scored two in the opening game. Straight under the foot of the keeper. Fourth goal of the game. 
as soon as Edvarsson lifted his leg, that ball was going to go underneath or next to the standing leg. One goal in it. Change the line player for Iceland. In comes uh, Kari Christiansson, 32-year-old uh, bearded line player who plays in Denmark for Bjerringbro, 69 internationals. Not a prolific scorer, though, just 79 goals in those appearances. And that's an attacking foul straight away by him that gives possession to Hungary. Iyash, Lecky, and they've got to get uh, organised at the back again as Snorri Gudjonsson stays there just to hamper them. And uh, with Hungary slowing down, he's able to slot back in again. Gergo Ivancic, he's done it! Lovely little broken wrist shot by him. Fast arm, but he runs the ball off his fingertips. Curls it over the goalkeeper's hands. Not bad when you can lob a two metres and two goalkeeper. It's all square. So midway through the second half, after Iceland had taken control of the game initially. Hungary are back in there. Iceland back in front. Palmarsson with eight goals. The heel hit man. Goal for goal though. Angshin. Six from six. Oh, he's had a bit of a break, Angshin. Six goals in just 21 minutes of play so far in this game for him. Has it been a clever substitution to keep him rested and uh, ready to come back on now for a 15-minute uh, burst at the end? Second line player goes in for Iceland. Karasson's gone in. Yes, tries to reach the ball but can't. Atlasson gets the free throw. 14 minutes remaining. Oh, and we've got a tussle now on the line. Christian Son has uh, gone down and uh, well is that uh, Zuboy I think he's got himself a two minute suspension sent off by uh, Zusan Stojkovic let's have a look there well not sure whether his shirt is being held in the first place well no ill feelings as a line player he knows yeah he's on his way don't worry so Suspension now, takes some of the pressure off for Iceland, big space on the wing, but uh, Schuh did well. He's just working like a Trojan at the back. He was covering the uh, right winger and then came right back to cover the line play on the other side. But uh, untidy, look at him there, number five, covers him, then he realizes the line play is free and tries to get back, but it's too late. ES should have covered him. ES stepped off the line and left the door open. Iceland edge in front again, taking advantage of the power play. Well, short-handed or not, the response comes in. Ivancic, starting from the wing, goes in behind. No one uh, calls him. And underneath the keeper. Al Grimson and now playing at his more familiar right back position, nearly stolen, but instead it's open the door, but Tatai makes a great save. Yeah, the goalkeeper called in for the retired Nandor Fajikas. Reacts well. Saw the lob coming, just got his hand to it. Hungary now looking for a slightly longer attack, maybe run the clock down until they're back to full strength. Ivancic goes back outside. Looking for the line, but that's exactly what he wanted, Lecky. He's got himself a free throw. More seconds tick away. That's gone out behind. Well, in the end, another speculative long-range shot.
from Angsin, his first miss of the game, but uh, from there, and for that kind of shot, not entirely surprised. Hungary at least have uh, run down the clock, scored one, conceded one in that power play, so they've not done badly. Second line play goes in, Sigurdsson. I like to do that to try and free up a little bit the uh, back line for all the crossovers that they do. Free throw again. Solid defending. Su is just working like a Trojan at the back. Free throw again. And the Hungarian defence holding solidly against uh, the 106 kilo line player, Christiansson. Long range shot. It's blocked, but it's come straight back to him. It won't uh, count that goal. They'll come back for the free throw. But uh, Palmarsson, lucky to see the ball come straight back into his hand off the block. And the Icelandic crowd feel that should have been allowed, but uh, once they've blown, they can't take it back, I'm afraid, guys. Oof! Side hoardings. Hungary break out fast. Oh, superb! Zuboy! They've taken the lead again. Very quickly played. Celebrations for the 29-year-old from Pichegger and a team timeout called by Christian Son, the Icelandic coach. Well, this is absolutely teetering one way than the other, this game. Too close to call. Both defences are working really well, but shot efficiency nevertheless high, but a lot of those long-range efforts for the uh, Hungarians, for the Icelanders, a lot of that percentage coming close up, 62% for the Hungarians, 59 for Iceland. 12 of uh, Hungary's uh, 24 goals have come from long-range efforts. Four fast breaks, a penalty. For Iceland, 10 from 21 long-range shots. And their confirmation will show that uh, Hungary have had six two-minute suspensions. They are defending, though, so hard. 11 saves. Meanwhile, for Edvarsson, who's uh, been uh, absolutely brilliant in goal since coming in for uh, Gustafsson. So as we head into the last 10 minutes of this Group B match, it's anybody's game here. Hungary lead by just the one goal that came off a defender. Throw in from the corner for Iceland. Yes, once more getting his hand to it. Got good height, 198. Free throw again. Well, Hungary really went off the boil for about eight minutes. They looked like they were having that psychological block again when they were going to, well, they've come back at us, they've overhauled us now, and now we're struggling. And you thought, well, are they going to crack like we've seen them do before? But they've dug really deep, and they've uh, really done it on the back of good defending. Stay solid in defense, the rest will follow, and that's exactly what's happened. And a lot of that credit has to go to Ies and Shu. Meanwhile, though, the Icelanders level it once more. Atlason. Son in conversation with Christiansson, waiting to come back on again. And give him a break in defence while Jakobsen, as ever, goes on to cover for him. Lecky, Chaza. Long range shot. Oh, brilliant! Coming in from 10 metres out, and it's Angstrin again. Just one missed shot from eight attempts for him. A change happens once more as uh, Jakobsen races off and uh, the attacking line player Christiansson comes on. Oh, absolute bullet by Atlason. More than anything else, they took the goalkeeper completely by surprise and 
Coronel Nodge holds his head on the bench. Well, are we going to see another epic here after their quarter final at the Olympics in 2012? They do seem to serve them up. Lecky, Angshin. Gabor Chaza scores. Fifth goal for him. And Christiansen saying, yeah, get your lines right in defence. Just short of 100 kilometres an hour, and the bench are on their feet. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Well, if uh, Hungary were to win it here, this would open up the group completely. Kalmarsson, that goes wide, but he's got a free throw. And shove on the way through. A frustrated look by Palmarson, who uh, has certainly been on excellent form today after a little bit of a scare in the opening match. And they uh, beat Norway 31-26. He was injured after about eight minutes. Strapped him up, tried to put him back on in the second half. That didn't work. Oh, passion aplenty here in uh, Olbo in the Gigantium. Tries to go through, falling on the way in, though, but it's another free throw. Seven minutes remaining. Well, half-hearted calls now from the Icelandic fans. The nerves may be getting to them as much as to the players. Looking for the line. Beautifully dispossessed, uh, Christiansson. And Shalafai is off. He's been used predominantly in defence, but uh, we'll have to have a look at that one again. Let's have a quick look and see. Well, it is hard, and uh, Christiansen has ever a smile on his face. But uh, again, was that a two-minute suspension? Six of one, half dozen of the other, I say again. I think Shu and now uh, Zalafai have been unlucky for Hungary. Seven two-minute suspensions for Hungary in this game, two to Iceland, and still the Hungarians are leading. Oh, fantastic height. Sigurdsson. Really needed air traffic clearance for that one. Look at this. And then uh, lobs it over Tatai. Done and they level again. Fifth goal for him. 34 year old Kiel Marksman. He's played the four World Championships, three Olympics, and this is now his third European Championship. And he's lost it. Ball just going beyond the reach of Angsin. That's unfortunate while they're short handed. Ivan Chik heading in now to take up a central role in defence. They haven't got uh, Shu in there in defence this time. It's Guiush who's working the middle. Oh, and that's a mistake now. And a let off as Palmarsson lets the ball dribble between his legs. And it's picked up by the Hungarians. And uh, matches can be won or lost on those tiny, tiny little details. Five minutes remaining. The tension palpable in the arena here. Chaza. And the team timeout called by Moksoy. Well, they have left their guts on the court, these uh, players here today. What a great display it's been. Really tough physical defence on both sides, and it has been relentless throughout. 
The shooting average is heading back up again. Hungary, who were dipping, are now back up on a 63% success rate with their shooting, while Iceland are on 60%. And yet, despite all that, the goalkeeper is still in evidence. Edvarsson with 11 saves so far in the game. Mikler made seven earlier. Tatai two, and there the turnovers. 12 to Iceland, 11 Hungary. And the pace at which the game's being played and the pressure the defence are putting each other under, forcing those little mistakes. Well, it's not a game for the faint-hearted, and you really do have to try and keep your nerve here at the end, make the right decisions. Interesting to see what solutions uh, Iceland will come up with on the right wing if Olafsson cannot be made fit again, given the lack of experience of the other right wingers they have. Unfortunately, of course, for them, very notably, they came out without their main first choice right winger, Alexander Peterson, who is uh, injured. The winger from Reinika Leuven. He would have been on his third European Championship otherwise. So Hungary back to full strength again. Oh, nicely done by Guiyus, but another fine save by Edvarsson, and the ball's taken by Iceland. Kalmarsson, and the substitutions happen again. Off go the uh, defenders. Looks for the line. It was a brilliant take by uh, Guiyus, who had to jump up in the area to catch it and then shoot before he landed. But... Uh, didn't manage to steady himself to get a decent shot enough. Once more, Sigurdsson goes in on the line. Too many steps. Four minutes remaining. Still all square here in Olbo. Chaza. No penalty because Zuboy couldn't turn to face goal. Christiansson managed to hold him up. While they're making the substitution, though, Iceland. Oh, a shot for the uh, Hungarians. And he's missed Ivancic, but there's a two-minute suspension. It's still going to be an Icelandic ball, but for an earlier foul, Karasson gets his second two-minute suspension. Oh, we'll see it again. There's the foul. It's a push on Zuboy, but it did open up a huge angle, and Ivancic could have gone even further. It's his second missed shot of the game. It could prove so utterly crucial. There's uh, the incident. So Karasson off. And uh, they've taken out their goalkeeper again, and Gudjonsson comes on with the goalkeeper's bib on. Try and make sure that uh, Hungary can't benefit from the uh, suspension at this very late stage in the game when uh, every mistake could be crucial. Out and straight back in for Djarki Gunnarsson, who's now in on the line. Tall, two metres and one line player. 100 kilos. Let's replace Christiansson. So Palmarsson gets the free throw, still remonstrating on the way back, but Iyash has been very evident in defence. Hungarian captain who retired after the Olympics in London, but then uh, was tempted back again. Missed the, Euro the World Championships last year and uh, more injury woes, maybe. It's not a good Jansson. Gets close to the bench, ready for the change. Off the post, picked up by the Hungarians. Three minutes to go and still no change. It's all square. We've had four minutes without a goal here. But no shortage of excitement. Traza, nearly stolen. It's going to be a free throw. The foul on Angshin. Just got the ball. Did well to hold it uh, one-handed as Sigurdsson collided with him. Oh, Chaza tried to do the handoff and completely missed it. And he's handed possession back to Iceland. 
Well, it says it all. Lajos Moksai, the coach, looks to him, throws his arms in the end, say, what happened? Well, Shaza can't even explain that. He'll probably say, well, too much resin on my hand, but that could be a terribly costly mistake. We're into the last two minutes. Free throw, Su. Ah, oh, caught him high. Hungary will finish the game short-handed. Timur Shinsu, his third two-minute suspension is a red card. Well, that's academic anyway at this stage. No ill intention. It was just clumsy. Well, he has defended superbly. An epic performance by Su in the game. But he has to go and uh, watch the uh, last minute and 40 seconds of the game from the bench. Here it is again, just a little too high. Almost got surprised by Palmarson, who uh, twisted his body at the top and went off to one side. Well, the fans still willing on their team because Iceland will be back to full strength in one second and will finish the match with a man advantage. Tactical discussion going on with Palmarson about how they're going to do this. Sigurdsson involved in it as well. It's all happening on court as uh, Su sits amongst the spectators and some of the uh, Danish officials there to watch anxiously and hope that his team, even short-handed, can pull it out of the bag here. Change the line player. So Gunnarsson's gone off and uh, Christiansson is back on and uh, just to add to the drama, there's a slight problem with the clock in the arena and they're having to reset it. That's not going to help their nerves one little bit here. Christiansson, the 32-year-old who plays in Denmark for Geringbro, scored one goal so far, being favoured now for this critical stage. There he is. 69 caps, 79 goals, but uh, one goal now could be the most important of his career. Palmarsson trying to stay focused and they just want the clock to be fixed and the game to carry on. So does uh, Christiansson, who's not looking amused at the moment. And look at the fans, some of them can't even bear to watch. Well, hang on to your hats, this is going to be a finale. The Hungarian fans are looking almost as nervous as everybody else here. Silence has descended. We're ready. One minute and 39 seconds to decide this one. So Iceland back to full strength again. And Karasson goes into the right wing. It's a power play now for Iceland right up until the end of the game. Looking for the line, nothing there. Into the wing, lots of space on the wing, yes! Karasson puts him in front. The horns, the drums are going, but there's still over a minute to go. Hungary, no time to let the clock run down now. They need to get the goal. They want that point at least then now. They've got two on the line, nearly three. They've got to sort themselves out, not get bogged down. Nerves. Slightly there at the moment, Lecky trying to get some space. They've taken out their goalkeeper now, Putic is in. Oh, arm taken from behind. Looks at the clock, 30 seconds to go. Putic. Traza. No one wants to take the shot, Lecky defending beautifully, but Hungary are attacking straight down the middle at the moment. They're not spreading it wide at all. The wingers are all getting sucked in. They're not going to beat the Icelanders that way. Oh, he's gone in! Incredible, Lecky! An opportunist shot, and it's gone straight past the outstretched leg of Ed Barson. A sea of defenders in front of him, but somehow he found it, and eight seconds remain for Iceland to find a winner. Palmarsson can't believe it. It was such an opportunist effort in the end. No one seemed to want to take the shot. He just saw the space there long enough. Went for the long post. Palmarsson is gutted. Team timeouts called. Eight seconds then for Iceland somehow to pull something back out of the bag. Well, the Hungarians are making a habit of spoiling the Icelanders' party here. 
They may not come away with a win, but if they can hold on for eight seconds, and despite eight two-minute suspensions in this game, compared to Iceland's four, Hungary could come away here with a point. And it could be a crucial point in the battle for that main round place. Well, none of them seemed to want to take that long-range shot for Hungary. They were crowding up the middle. It seemed to be all the wrong thing to do. Uh, they're going to put the uh, goalkeeper in once they can get the bib on the right way round. Snorri Gudjonsson. And they're hoping to get basically seven attackers against uh, against five defenders, plus the goalkeeper, of course, for Hungary for a final overload here. It's a bit of a gamble because if for any reason they suddenly lost the ball, there's an empty goal begging at the back there for the Hungarians who are pushing right up. They've got to watch the wingers because the wingers are going to go straight past them and go deep. Here they go. Came off a defender and that's going to be it. The ball goes down the court, but there was a defender down there anyway, but it was a free throw, I think, for Iceland. Is it? No, it's not. And that's it. Well, Hungary, that was epic. They're defending absolutely superb. And at the end, Lecky, the player who somehow salvaged the point for them, and deservedly so, both teams defended superbly here today. And the fans, well, they're happy with that because for a while it looked like they were going to lose this one. But uh, Christiansson annoyed. Shazar almost a smile on his face and I think probably the Hungarians will be the happier of the two teams at the end here because Iceland had the extra player they seemed to be doing it well because the Hungarians were crowding the center and they were just putting up a wall of defenders but suddenly just as we were saying that two defenders parted and Lecky just saw enough of the goal to score and Moxoy gets a last ditch point here in group B the first point for Hungary Iceland on three points will temporarily move up top of the group pending the match between uh, Spain and Norway just after this. Uh, still a few defiant waves of the flag from the Icelanders. Let's not forget this is still a draw. They've both got a point. Incredible. What a finale. Moxley trying to look casual about it. His heart must be racing at 110 kilometers an hour. Well, they all have their tales to recount now to each other, but Su, number five there, who got red carded right at the end with his third two-minute suspension, and epic in defense. Hungary, well, no surprise that the man of the match for Hungary is Gabor Angsin with seven goals from eight shots. Brilliant performance by the 23-year-old from Pichaget, who's uh, had to cover for the uh, absent Laszlo Nodz and has done it eminently well. Congratulations to him. And some uh, superb and hugely effective shooting throughout the game. Uh, no doubt about that one. It had to be Aaron Palmarsson with eight goals. But he's probably the most disappointed looking of all the Icelanders. 62% success rate for the uh, marksman from uh, Kiel in Germany for the German champions and he looks to be honest gutted well it has been a tough game and it wasn't for the faint-hearted at the end but Hungary with eight seconds to go through a goal by Matti Lecky have salvaged a point from this game which could just help them go through to the next round it'll all come down to their final match against Norway on Thursday while Iceland have a tough encounter against Spain. Gudjonsson did all he could, one goal, but more than anything else, organizing, and some of the fans have gone very quiet on the Icelandic side. They've got to take time to digest what has happened. Well, huge excitement here in Old Ball. Let's have a look then at the statistics from the game and 52, 51% success rate on the attacks, but Hungary marginally better with their field shooting at 62%. But. Uh, they suffered eight two-minute suspensions in the game and 13 turnovers for Iceland, 12 for Hungary, a game where there were a lot of mistakes because of the tough defending that was happening, and yet only three penalties handed out in the whole game, with each team scoring one, and then four fast breaks for Hungary, two to Iceland.
for this 27-all draw in Olborn. So Palmarsson top scoring in the game with eight goals and uh, Angshin with seven for Hungary from eight attempts with uh, Sigurdsson and Chazar coming up second for each of their teams with five goals apiece. Well, an incredible uh, game in the second half. Eight minutes without scoring for Hungary. It looked like they'd lost their way there. You can see that big gap and then they got going again. And uh, both teams then dried up a bit at the end as it got really exciting. No shortage of shots, but uh, nothing was going in until those last two shots, including Lecky's final last ditch point saver. For Hungary then, pretty much down the middle, four fast breaks, one penalty. Only one goal scored from the left wing, from four, no right wing shots. But otherwise it was a uh, middle game for them, not spreading it quite as wide. And for Iceland, well, a nice spread across there. Palmarsson doing his bit from the back as well with one penalty, one goal straight from the throw off and two fast breaks. So that's it then, an incredible game here, huge excitement, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Hungary and Iceland have drawn. Until next time, well, there's confirmation of the table as Iceland sit top. That's temporary, of course. Spain still have to play Norway. But it's been a, a cracking match here. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, from me, Paul Bray, goodbye. Thank you.